What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and I wanted to bring you the second video of the day around Terra Luna. A couple of people have been asking me in the chat and also over on Twitter, how many tokens am I going to get? So we're going to cover that off. And why has UST been 400% up today? Make sure you subscribe to the channel for all of your Terra Luna cryptocurrency content, and let's jump into it. So here's a crazy one. Like I said, we can see the price coming at 0.06928, which people are probably thinking, well, Mike, I don't know what you're talking about. It's not really any different. We can see the low here at 0.04. Obviously, it's been depegged from the UST since the 9th of May. But look, what is interesting, the 24-hour high is 0.5. So at one point, this was 53 cents in the last 24-hour period. So again, it starts to get pretty crazy. And you see on the one-day chart here, was trending around 0.08 and it kept you know and then we went to a decline 0.07 down again then all of a sudden we see this huge spike all the way up to 53 cents now to be clear that's a 10x if you put a thousand dollars in here you just made a cool ten thousand dollars in 15 minutes now why am i talking about this why is it important well the terror station proposal details the DAO that sits on this blockchain had 1747 community pool spend proposal so the previous, uh, sorry, to burn the remaining UST in the community pool and cross-chain liquidity incentive UST2. Previous proposal tried to withdraw more from the community pool that was allowed and um, available and hence the execution failed. So this is something they've already tried to do. We can take a look at the full proposal here. We propose several further actions to reduce the outstanding bad debt of the terror economy and help restore the UST peg by burning the remainder of the community pools. USD currently 1.017 billion UST remains in the community pool. The current UST circulating supply 12.6 billion at the time of writing. As a result, burning the remainder of the community pool, UST will reduce the circulating supply by roughly 8%. So, what happened? Well, they burnt those tokens. Uh, the vote was passed. You can see here it got well over the past threshold, ended two hours ago at the point in which it ended. They burnt that 1.027 billion tokens, which saw this huge pump. Now, here's the problem though, because ever since that, people have just completely dumped this token and it's all the way back down and probably won't be far away from what it was doing beforehand. So was it worth it? Probably not. What else is there to do with it? Well, not a lot. That's the honest answer with this. So yes, it has decreased circulating supply. You can see there down at 11.28 billion. But I guess what is more important is it shows the power of the DAOs. It shows the power of the governance and equally probably a little bit of honesty in the sense that it was agreed to and then done. Now it was a community pool as opposed to being a dev funded pool or anything like that. But ultimately it was burned. It has reduced the supply. What that then means going forward, I'm not sure. Obviously the desire was to get this back to a more $1 pegging. It clearly isn't anywhere near that and it is still quite a considerable while away. Now we know that we're expecting Luna 2.0 to launch which is without the algorithm stablecoin attached to it. So Terra Classic USD, this will only ever sit with the Terra Classic uh, token, hence why it's now called that, as opposed to USD. The Luna 2.0 blockchain will no longer be an algorithmic stablecoin or linked to an algorithmic stablecoin. It will be its own blockchain by itself. Now, obviously, we're still waiting for that to launch. We're still anticipating the 2.0 come out. Lots of people say it's going to be 1 a.m. Asian time. Um, Lots of people are saying it's going to be some point tomorrow. We don't fully know. We know the Genesis um, file has been worked on. We know the snapshots were taken. So it's just a matter of time to see when it comes out. I still think we're going to see a dump on Classic, potentially a pump on the 2.0. I think a lot of people are interested. A lot of support from big exchanges. We've seen all of them pretty much bar Coinbase. They are sticking to their guns and not getting involved. So I did think this was dead interesting. It does definitely give me confidence in the terror governance DAO, in the fact that if they vote for it, then it could get passed and be clear on this this was a completely community proposed execution and it was then fulfilled so i think that's pretty exciting now the big news is what am i going to get and i do think it's important that we reference some of this because a lot of people think they're just going to get tons of tokens then they'll be able to dump on the 2.0 and make loads of money it's just not that way they've tried to really think this through make it logical yes it's not great it looks after the people that have lost a ton of money it sort of half helps the people that got in for this but um you know, we'll flick it into dark mode. It's a little bit easier to, on the old eyes. But ultimately, you're not just going to get all your tokens and you're not going to be able to pump it. So I'll leave a link in this uh, to this website in the description down below. This is all the data taken from the Twitter page of the official Terra Luna page. But you can see here, look, post Lunar Attack, which is probably nearly everyone that's watching this video. You can see I've just put a million tokens in there. It texts us through what the allocation is. You can see there's obviously a higher allocation for pre-attack than post-attack. What the new pool is. 
the lunar units, the percentage on the network, the cost, and the dollar cost per lunar. It then takes into account the vesting schedule. So you can see here that the post lunar, I'm going to get for 0 0.4223 monthly for 24 months starting after the six month cliff now obviously i don't have a million tokens i think i've got a little bit more if i'm honest but i'll get 4.34 tokens that's what i'll get and then i'll get the rest for the two years post that so we can do that the total will be 14.47 tokens over the 24 month period so if you think about that it's going to have to come in at a pretty insane price we see here we roughly think it's going to be nearly ten dollars so it's not going to be look for some people it might make a lot of money but this one's going to be a long slog this one is going to be a long slog it's going to be very volatile i think to start with i think some people with big bags will probably sell to get out of it and i think the other people will just kind of wait and see what happens there's a lot of good things moving over to that blockchain there are a lot of good uh, apps to go through the big question is what happens to luna classic we're gonna to have to wait and see but Again, this gives you an idea if you were in pre-attack, post-attack, you can come and use this and give you an idea of what you're going to get. We'll see those airdrop tokens coming fairly soon. So let me know in the comments down below, were you pre-attack, post-attack, and what do you plan to do with Luna 2.0? And I will see you guys in the next video for your Terra updates. See you guys.